so far, it's actually had a positive effect, which is slightly bizarre, but there's 12,000 frontier workers who migrate from Spain into Gibraltar most days, and everyone's concerned about the border. So our biggest risk is the border, which is an EU internal border. Because at the moment, we're allowed to go into Gibraltar, into Spain, and the Spanish people and, and expats working in Gibraltar are allowed to come here. People are now scared that they're going to Spain may close the border <coughs> or, 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 or give some hassle at the border. So we've had an increase in demand from people living in Spain. They now think they want to live in Gibraltar, so we remove the border risk. It also removes the currency exchange risk because since the referendum, the pound has gone down 5-10%. So those people learning in Sterling, which is what we have here, they have to change their money into euros. and. That now buys in South Sales. So, another reason to move into Gibraltar is that we move the currency exchange risk. So, for those two reasons, bizarrely enough, it's had a positive boost to our to our business. It's not the answer we wanted. We wanted to stay in the EU. 96% of the voted to stay in the EU. However, short term, it's, it's been positive for my business, bizarrely enough. Well, it's a demand of property. Well, even before. The referendum we were running out of property here and as you go around Gibraltar you'll see a lot of cranes and there's eight off-plan developments currently under construction so within say two years we're probably going to have another eight or nine hundred properties available on the market and that's because prices are rising here because there's not enough property for the number of jobs we have hence why everybody well not everybody hence why so many people live in Spain so already prices are rising, very difficult to get a rental apartment. There's probably 10 on the market at any one time. So what we now need to do is to speed up the construction to try and complete the, these off yeah. developments sooner. And then those who wish to move in will, will, will have a choice of moving in and perhaps we can stem the price rises because we are, we are becoming expensive. Demand hasn't decreased, so in the short term, it's all about people wanting to remove their currency exchange risk and their border risk. Can they get to work every day? So at the moment, demand is up. Now, what happens in the medium to long term? Our economy is, is highly based upon being in the EU, so it's not the answer we wanted, and it's certainly not what we voted for. 84% turnout, 96% voted to remain, so it's not what we wanted. However, we're a small nation. We're resilient, we are entrepreneurial, and we can probably move faster in restructuring our, our business model, faster than any EU country, faster than the United Kingdom. So it's not just Gibraltar that's concerned, all of the EU is concerned, the UK is concerned. But because we're strong, I think we can move into a new business model if we end up exiting the EU, which still is by no means certain. And I would still be positive about this jurisdiction. I still think, right, if it, if it were not for the fact that we're building a lot more property, prices would increase. Because, because you've got 1.3 million um, British expats who live in the who live in Europe. They're going to be pretty concerned now, and they're receiving their money in pounds, and they're having to convert to dollar. Gibraltar's just got 10% cheaper because of the fall in the pounds. These guys moved to Southern Europe probably because of the climate and the lifestyle. Many of those will see Gibraltar as a safe haven still will always be part of Britain. So we're going to see a small boost in the number of people. What will stem the price rises is when all the construction boom uh, completes in a year or two, and as I say, probably 800, 900 properties come to the market. That should help Gibraltar because we are short of property. And we, we don't want to price ourselves out of the market. We, Monaco is 10 times more expensive than Gibraltar. So on, on international terms, on comparative terms, we're quite cheap. I mean, Hong Kong is far more expensive than Gibraltar. So internationally, we're, we're cheaper. We've got to be careful not to price ourselves out of the market. So it's a challenge, but we need to build more property. That will that will keep the price rises within check. So, who is the main customer? Of the, the, the main customers are twofold. You have the the companies who move over, predominantly for fiscal reasons and they bring together their, their executives and their employees. So those guys will, will move their business, whether from London, whether from Malta, even Hong Kong, 
um, who, who, who will come over here and then they create employment, they're bringing people and business here. The other sector of the high net worths and those who have already retired with existing capital, they are in the UK, they've retired and they're thinking, a bit dark, a bit dreary, perhaps the UK doesn't feel as nice as it did a week or ten days ago to some, not all, and they're looking for something in the Mediterranean, somewhere safe, somewhere sunny, and here we have the UK sterling, the British pound, our law is predominantly based on UK law, um, we're entrepreneurial and we can see around there's plenty to do and I think we're very attractive to that, that high net worth retired person who may see this as a far more pleasant way of living than living in, in the UK right now. Yes, there, there's a threat that if we ever leave the EU, and the earliest it could appear to be happening is two years from January 2017, because it's up to the UK when they press the Article 50 button, and for what we hear today, the earliest is going to be January, and then you've got another two years. So the earliest is two and a half years. If during the time that uh, a company headquartered here they, they feel that what negotiations we've made or the UK has made are, are not to their liking or we've not, not managed to stay in the single market, then yes, there's a threat that they will leave. However, in those two and a half years, we will probably find new business models. You know, Hong Kong is in the EU, does well, Cayman Islands, BBI, um, you, you have many Jersey, Guernsey, Crown Dependencies. The, the EU isn't the only business model. It is the business model we want, but it's not the only business. And I think we'll have plenty of time and it will take years to come out of the need. So I think if that happens, which is by no means certain, we have more than enough time to come up with a new business model to, to create, to replace those businesses that leave. So, so I, I, I think we can move fast enough, quick enough, and we're smart enough here. It's quite an entrepreneurial place, is, is Gibraltar.